everyone's personal statement is different. It took me three drafts, 20 different work in progress versions, and four months to get mine right. But does it still hold up? My name is Sam, and this is Opcentric. I am entirely serious when I say that my personal statement was my baby for a few months. I wanted this to be perfect since it was the one element of my application I had fully in my control. I started thinking about writing it in June after I'd finished the further Mate S level exams and worked on it occasionally when I had the time. In August and September, I focused on it more, getting feedback from teachers and peers to help in refining. In October, when many of my friends were rushing to finish theirs for the deadline, I was able to sit back and relax. Or more accurately, Panic about the imminent ambitions test. Sometimes amongst engineers there's confusion about what an academic engineering personal statement should do, so I'm hoping having a case study like this will help. This personal statement helped me get acceptances at Oxford, Imperial College London, Durham, Bristol and Warwick. A couple of disclaimers. Firstly, don't feel pressured to do exactly what I did, a personal statement is personal. Secondly, I did do a lot of supercurricular activities, so don't let this intimidate you. This is on high end even for an Oxbridge applicant. I'm going to break my analysis up into five parts, giving a bit more context and explaining why some elements work. Let's get started. A fascination with roller coasters launched my curiosity for engineering. The precise design of modern roller coasters, as an engineering microcosm, has interested me in the diverse facets of the subject. Delving into the evolution of coast development, from wire models to force vector design software, prompted me to create my own rides in an industry standard simulator, allowing me to examine energy transfer, forces, and safety. My concept seek to safely thrill riders, necessitating G-loading to test accelerations, and leading me to consult an expert from a pioneering manufacturer to understand industry standards and optimal supporting methods. After reading innovative designer John Worley's autobiography, I was inspired to use unique ways to optimise multiple aspects beyond the physics, such as non-riders' appeal, earning me repeated success in international competitions. Such projects help me understand many considerations, for example footprint, planning limitations and capacity, whilst furthering my eye for detail. A lot of focus is given to the opening line of a personal statement. I was quite happy with mine, despite not being very flashy, it communicates my unique selling point as a candidate, which is my interest in roller coasters. I was quite surprised by how much curiosity my roller coaster enthusiasm attracted. It came up in both my interviews at Oxford and Imperial, which shows it worked well to grab the attention of the tutors. I started designing my own rides back in 2015, however a few years prior I read the book Coasters 101, which I see as my first foray into considering roller coasters as engineering projects. I did a bit more research into the history of coaster design as I wrote my personal statement. This was mainly to see if anything new piqued my interest and should later be included. Talking about key engineering concepts like G-loading and energy transfer helped me to demonstrate a great degree of relevant and specific knowledge. Safety is also essential in engineering, and I quite liked how I introduced the concept here before exploring it more later on. The expert I refer to is a Finnish guy I met via Discord who has given me feedback on a few of my designs. Mentioning you've spoken to experts indicates a desire to learn as well as good teamwork skills. Creating my own nemesis, John Wally's autobiography was the only book featured in my statement. John Wadley is a huge inspiration to me, I even have my own copy signed, so I was very pleased to be able to mention it. This also shows that the books you mentioned don't all have to be very academic, as this is just his life story and not particularly technical. For competitions I took part in with the No Limits to Roller Coaster Simulator Roundups. Generally, I think competitions are a useful feature, as they allow you to effectively summarise a skill, whilst also suggesting a high level of competence. Notice that throughout this paragraph, I'm saying what I learned as well as what I did. This is very important and a key part of writing with the ABC strategy. In a personal statement, there's no substitute for genuine passion, in my opinion. If you focus on the areas of the subject you find most interesting, you'll be more convincing and find it easier to write. My research of launch technologies highlighted the low maintenance of linear synchronous motors used on Blackpool's ICON. In discussion with Electricity Northwest engineers, I learned of the ride's power demands and how its harmonic and flicker impact on the electrical distribution system was assessed. I synthesised my ideas for options to improve LSM technologies in my prize winning essay on potential innovation for the roller coaster industry. I used ICON at Blackpool Pleasure Beach as a nice segue away from roller coasters and into other types of engineering. This short paragraph focuses on industrial experience in the form of a conversation I had with some Electricity Northwest staff. Once again, I referred to some important engineering concepts. In a nutshell, flicker is when a disturbance affects the voltage available to other devices on a network, and harmonics are when devices requiring a non-linear load worsen power quality. These both were quite tricky to learn at first, but seem like good technical aspects to approach. Essay competitions show you can write well, which is a beneficial skill in almost any degree. 
I wrote the essay I talk about for the Immerse competition, and it won me a reduced price place on their summer school. However, it was still super expensive, so I noped on that one. The aim of this paragraph was to show an interest in electrical engineering. Whilst I find it one of the trickier aspects of the field, I applied for general engineering courses at 3 out of 5 universities, and so wanted to demonstrate a good breadth of interest. During time working at Alton Towers, I took part in a daily roller coaster checks, essential for mitigating risks and maintaining availability. This consideration of safety made me curious to research the ethics of engineering. On BAE Systems Industrial Cadet Silver Accredited Engineering Taster Week, I undertook a detailed aircraft design project, involving calculations based on our experience seeing the construction of Typhoon fighters and learning about their equipment. These aircraft have been a part of global conflict. Are engineers accountable for their use? I considered whether intentionally lethal weapons and benign machines causing death by accident are equally immoral, before focusing on the safety technology of heads-up displays. Experiencing a cutting-edge augmented reality HUD inspired me to research online, concluding that when implemented correctly, benefits such as its intuitive nature likely outweigh risks such as distraction from flight. I relished the chance to study underlying theory and new technologies, alongside the process of developing and refining new concepts. I begin this paragraph with my Alton Towers work experience. I really enjoyed doing this, which gave me a chance to learn more about some of my favourite rides, including going backstage. However, as this was not as academic and I'd already discussed roller coasters at length, I decided to keep it quite brief. The main focus of this section is the BAE Systems Engineering Taster Week. This scheme was very insightful and somewhat outside of my comfort zone as I'd never considered aerospace engineering before. Discussing a course run by a well-known company helped me to show relevant industry experience, which is beneficial for a practical subjects like engineering. I deliberately mentioned the accreditation of the scheme to help signpost the skills development I gained from the course. The overarching theme of this paragraph is the ethics of engineering. I got this idea from an Oxford engineering undergraduate I met on the Coral Scholarship Open Day, who used this in her personal statement and said it provoked some insightful interview discussions. This also fit well with my interest in politics, which I linked through the consideration of global conflict. However, as this is ultimately an engineering personal statement, I only allude to it briefly. One idea I considered, but later scrapped, was some research into the euthanasia coaster. I eventually decided this was too dark of a subject and frankly made me seem a bit strange. I looked at HUDs with BAE, but mostly researched them for the purpose of including in my personal statement. By the end, I still wasn't an absolute expert on the subject, but felt quite happy discussing it if it did come up in interview. The final sentence summarises what I enjoyed about this research, again, focusing on what I learned. I think this was probably my favourite paragraph for how it neatly draws together my two main engineering work experiences and combines it with some extra research. It's concise and shows a diverse engineering interest. My participation in summer schools have assured me I have the interest and intellect required to study engineering. Designing, constructing, then testing my own beam on Unique was a highlight. I was interested how structural choices affected the modes of failure and learned skills like spot welding and prototype construction. Also, use of SolidWorks at Oxford built on my prior 3D modelling. On the Sun Trust course at Durham University, I completed a report on a proposal for a wind farm. Based on laboratory experiments, I considered multifaceted analysis such as blade solidity, angle of attack, and turbine location. I was particularly enthused by exploring alternative vertical axis turbines to overcome urban challenges. I was lucky to benefit from two summer school access schemes over summer 2019, which I'd highly recommend as good fun and a great way to build up your skills. Unique was a fantastic course, which I'll talk about in more detail in another video. If you're considering Oxford especially, it is a significant boost to your application. I chose a small number of academic activities from the wide range we did on the course to mention in my statement. These were the ones I found most interesting, but also covered skills I was yet to touch on. For example, I wanted to mention that I'd done some 3D modelling, and the fact we used SolidWorks on the course allowed me to do that. Unlike Unique, Durham Sutton Trust was focused on a single long-form project, which all our work led into. Once again, I talked about the most exciting and relevant activities. I find green energy really interesting, and I never researched vertical axis wind turbines before, so that was ideal to mention. In general, specificity is key when writing a good personal statement. For this reason, I also name drop a few of the exact technical requirements that we dealt with. Overall, this paragraph successfully shows what summer schools I did and why they made me a better candidate. I have taken part in step sessions tackling complex math problems to boost my resilience. Going on to participate in the British Maths Olympiad, receive gold in the UKMT and silver in the Physics AS Challenge. My hobbies of photography and singing with choirs demonstrate my creativity suited to engineering. I hope to continue with music at university as a choral scholar. I am an ABLE team leader and member. 
Besides being head boy, I led my young enterprise team to success in regional finals, where our product won the sustainability and marketing prizes. Always being up for a challenge, I eagerly anticipate starting the next chapter of my engineering career. I start this paragraph with some fairly standard soup curricular activities. This aims to show I've taken my interest in academics beyond the normal level. The Olympiad Awards illustrate my competence in the relevant subjects of maths and physics that are essential for engineering. Step Maths is an admissions test used by Cambridge that includes questions much trickier than you'd face in even further maths A level. By attending these classes, I demonstrated my desire to challenge myself by attempting more complex problems. I also briefly wrote about my extracurricular activities. Throughout, I tried to link these into the degree, for example saying photography shows I'm creative, which makes me a better engineer. I mentioned music because it was a major factor in me applying to Oxford, and a big part of my life in general. I tried to show leadership skills through mentioning being head boy and taking part in Young Enterprise, which also indicates an awareness of business. My closing line adequately summarises the statement. I think it could have been more memorable, but it clearly shows I'm enthusiastic about future in engineering. In conclusion, I feel that my personal statement holds up well and was probably one of the strongest parts of my application. It was very dense, which doesn't make it the easiest to read, but it was ultimately necessary to fully explain my skills and undertakings. I feel the best aspect was having a unique specialised subject and focusing in depth upon it, which helped to spark some interesting discussions. Additionally, I think that my supercurricular activities as a whole were very strong. In terms of improvements, I can't think of any big ones myself, however an admissions tutor would likely disagree. It would have looked better if I'd scored higher in the Olympiad challenges, but there's not much I can do about that. I hope you found this video useful. If you want more information about how to write a good personal statement, or apply to university in general, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Affects the evolving the other ditch.